Today on this 2010 Dodge Grand Caravan, we're going to install part number 118446 from Tow Ready. This is our T1 wiring harness. Okay, the first thing we need to do is get access to the taillights because the T-connector attaches behind both taillights. So we'll go ahead and open up the hatch. We'll start on the driver's side taillight and then work our way over to the passenger side. There are two screws here that we need to unbolt and our taillight should come right off. Our T-connector is going to connect up to the black one right here. And there's a little lock here to unlatch it, so you just got to push that backwards. And then push down this part right here, there's a little button, and it should come apart. To make things easier, we remove the whole light, so we're going to do the same thing for the bottom connector too. However, this won't be used by the wiring harness. We're going to take our four pole harness, and we're just going to drop it through, and basically, out the bottom. We're also going to do the same thing with the other half of the T connector with the green wire. That's going to go down just as well. Next we'll go ahead and make our connections to the wire harness for a T1 connector. This one, the black connector, was for our running light circuit and turn signal circuit and going to be our brake light too. So we're just going to plug those two together. And then our other half will go right back into the tail light. Now we also have a ground wire, which we're going to attach straight to sheet metal right here. Next thing we're going to deal with is mounting our module right here. And we're going to just adhere it to the sheet metal just below the bumper cover line. And we're just going to clean it off first. All right, once it's dry, you can go ahead and just use a double-sided tape and just stick it right to it. All right, next we'll deal with the red wire here. This is the power supply wire that gets ran up to the battery in the vehicle. So the kit comes with a 10 gauge wire that we'll go ahead and connect to this and run it down the bottom as well. We're gonna use a supplied buck connector to go ahead and make our attachments. Again, we'll take the other half and just drop it on through. All right, at this point, we we'll go ahead and reattach your tail light. That's gonna be green to green. Lock it in place, and then we'll make our T1 connection. And it's gonna be black to black also. And it's got its own lock. And we can put everything back together. All right, let's go beneath the vehicle behind the bumper, and we'll go ahead and start routing our wires to the hitch and over to the passenger side taillight. We'll start off with our green wire. We're just going to route that right behind the bumper cover, all the way across. We're just going to let that hang for now. We'll go ahead and do the same thing with our four pole harness. Okay, we'll tie that off at the safety chain loop. Now we'll use some zip ties to secure our wires and then take up some of the excess. Now we'll go ahead and remove the tail light on the passenger side. All right, same as before, we'll go ahead and remove it. We'll use a piece of wire to pull our wire back up through. Okay, same as before, make our connections, push them together. Our T1 plugged into the factory harness, and then the other half of our T connector will plug into the light. We can go ahead and install our light now. Before you seal everything shut, take a moment make sure you pull up all the slack out of here because the wire does get pretty close to exhaust. Make sure you take up the slack, and that way so it doesn't fall back down and touch the exhaust and cause a short.
We're done with the taillights, now let's go back underneath the vehicle and run our power wire up to the battery. Okay, we ran our power wire up to the front and we stuck it behind the hitch and we zip tied off to certain locations like a hanger for the brake line and just continue your way up front. All right, we'll go ahead and pull our wire up from the bottom. When you pull it up, make sure it stays away from anything moving like the steering components or suspension. We'll just pull it up right here, cut off a little, our excess length and just let it sit for now. And we'll go ahead and install our fuse holder. Our fuse holder is a loop. We can just go ahead and cut that in half. Then we'll add our buck connector to one side and ring terminal to the other. Now we'll take our power wire and we'll connect it to our buck connector. All right, and I think what we'll do is we'll go ahead and zip tie our wire and our fuse holder to this harness right here. There's a hole through the fuse holder we can run our zip tie through too. All right, next thing we wanna do is go ahead and make our attachment to the positive terminal. Now it's a good idea when you work with the batteries, go ahead and disconnect the negative terminal first, then you can work on the positive. All right, we're all reconnected now. Let's go ahead and install our fuse. Okay, all right, we got our fuse installed. Let's go to the back of the vehicle and test our wiring with a light tester. All right, we'll go ahead and test our four pole. We're gonna use our light tester. We're gonna take the ground and clamp it to the bare end with this white wire. And we'll go ahead and try out the running lights first, which will be brown, okay? Then we'll try our left turn signal, which will be yellow. Okay, and then right turn, which will be green. Okay, and then our brake signal, which will be both yellow and green. Okay, looks like we're good to go. Now we go ahead and try it on trailer. That'll finish our install part number 118446 from Tow Ready on our 2010 Grand Caravan.